Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a video. These are videos that I just love, love to watch. As you can see by the title, we are going to be doing a haul, try on kind of first impression video of uh, some clothes that I bought online. So I am a huge fan of Shan XO and I've been watching a lot of her um, like clothing hauls and stuff like that. And, you know, following her on Instagram and all of these things. And she always has the cutest little dresses. And most of the ones that I have fallen in love from happen to be from White Fox Boutique, which is a company based out of Australia. So I've been kind of like looking on their website for quite a while now, sort of being like, oh, I really like that. Oh, I really like this. Da, 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 da. But then in my head, I'm like, okay, a couple things. One, it's coming from Australia you know, to a lot of the dresses and stuff on there are made quite short uh, because it's marketed for people that live in Australia where the weather's actually nice most of the year, unlike in Canada where it snows, I swear, more than half of the year. Um, so there was that as well. And then, you know, you can't really... I'm I'm super off with sizes like sometimes I'll wear you know a bigger size if it's made a little smaller sometimes I need a smaller size if it's made a little bigger and size charts don't always work for me I've had like an incident recently where I bought like a sports bra from Victoria's Secret based on what I know my bra size to be and the sports bra was too small so it's kind of like size charts are a little finicky um but like I said, I keep seeing these hauls from her. And I believe the other person that I've watched do the hauls is Lauren Curtis. If I'm wrong, I'll write their actual name here. I should have looked, but I didn't. Um, and she had them too. And, and everything that they have just looks so amazing. And the quality looks fantastic. So I decided I needed to take a chance. So what I did was in a lot of like... Um, like retail sites online, there's a little chat box in the bottom corner. So I opened up the chat box and I basically just said, hi, I'm interested in purchasing. I don't know what to do about sizing. And I know that they have a 30 day return policy. Now I've ordered from New Zealand in the past and it took like, heck, I've ordered from the States in the past and it takes like, you know, three, four weeks to get here. So that was the first thing I was a little worried about where it was like, okay, if I try this stuff on and I don't like it, will I have time to return it? So that was the thing number one I was concerned about. And the second thing was sizing. So I actually had one of their um, like fashion consultant representatives talking to me for a couple of hours and would basically say, you know, what are your measurements? Um, so they asked for bust, waist and hips. And they say, you know, what styles are you interested in? So you let them know the styles and they tell you, you know, these styles fit a little bit big, get a smaller size. These ones fit a little smaller, get a bigger size. Or for me, where I'm kind of in between two sizes, they basically said you could get away with either. But for some of the shorter dresses, if you're looking for extra length, go a size up. So based off of that help, her name was Chelsea. That's all I really know. Thank you, Chelsea, so much. Um, it was super helpful. And she also was able to give me a kind of coupon code to get 15% off of my order as long as I purchased before the end of February. So I placed the order on February 27th and it was at my door by March 4th. And that's from, I'm pretty sure, I'm just gonna check right now. Yeah, it's from Australia. Like it says on the postage tag from Australia. So that is freaking crazy. Now I was able to, because of how much I spent, select Express DHL shipping, um, which said it would get here in two to four business days. And it definitely did. So it's kind of nice to know that if for some reason these don't fit me, I have time to return them. So I don't have like, I film on my phone. So unlike some people, I can't like hold up a picture on my phone, but I'm trying to work with a new filming software. If I can get it to work without screwing up the sink in my lips, I will put a picture here of what each of the outfits looks like as I get them. I will tell you what they're called. I'll tell you how much they were. I'll tell you what size I ordered in. If not, I'll do that kind of thing where it goes away from the video and puts a picture up so you guys can see what it looks like. And I am going to try everything on and try and like stand here-ish and show you guys what they look like. If they don't work, I might have to relocate in the house, but we'll see how it goes. So the package came, what did I tell you guys? Monday, that was yesterday. Um, so it all came in one bag. I haven't like actually opened any of the stuff. I wanted to do it with you guys, but I did just sort of open the top. So first things first, it all came in like a nice dust bag uh, that says White Fox Boutique on it. These are all the items. I picked up eight dresses slash rompers and I'll kind of like, if I had a specific purpose in mind, I'll tell you a lot of like the mini dresses and the rompers 
are kind of for me to wear more when I go down south, like to the Dominican and stuff like that, because I like to have those little dresses to go out at night around the resort. Um, so it came with like a ton of just like, what's this? Oh, so it came with a returns form, which is really, really good. Um, returns must be received within 30 days of purchase so hopefully <laughs> we'll be okay to do that um flat rate return or your own shipping whatever so it does tell you how to return it if you need to i also got i can't show you this whole thing i also got the receipt that has all the prices on it in canadian dollars so i will be giving you all of those as well there was another card that flew somewhere so i'm going to pull everything out and i'm just going to kind of start at the top so it looks like we're gonna start with this red one because it's right at the top so this is, let me see if I can find it on here, the Yacht Club Mini Dress Red. I got it in a size small. This is one of the ones that I got in a small for a little extra length. And it was $75.95 Canadian. So I'm going to take it out of the bag and see kind of what the fabric's like. And then I'm going to try it on. I should have taken everything out of the bags earlier because the rustling is out of hand. Okay. So this is what the dress looks like not on. I'm hoping that um, like the cleavage is not too bad. I kind of thought that this part, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a tie down here. Honestly, I thought the tie was connected to here so that I could like adjust how open it was or whatnot. Um, I know a lot of the dresses on the site show a lot of cleavage and I don't mind doing that, but it's not my favorite thing to do. So we will try it on. So. It does feel like it's pretty good quality. There is a lining in it, which is really good. It's just kind of like one of those like thin chiffon sort of things. Feels like it would be really, really breathable. It has a zipper up the back and the straps are adjustable. So I'm going to get into this and we will see how it looks. Alrighty, so this is the first dress. I'm hoping you guys can see it. I'm pretty far away. So the first thing that I'm really happy about, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm kind of on my tiptoes. It is definitely long enough for me, uh, which is really, really good. I have a, always a fear of like the wind picking up and blowing up and my butt hanging out. Um, I will say that like the straps are done up literally almost as far as they will go. Um, when I had a bra on with this, it, there was just way too much cleavage happening. Even this is a little bit more than I'm completely comfortable with. Um, and I feel like, I don't know if I love, I'm just trying to adjust it a little more. I don't know if I love the way it fits because I do have the straps done up so tight. Um, and I feel like it's not doing a ton for my figure. Like I find that most things that bunch up here and then flare out because I don't know why I'm super tiny all through here. And I just feel like it's not totally showing that off. I don't know. It's probably just in my head. Uh, girls are always their own harshest critics. Um, it's not a bad dress. I just don't know how much that I am in love with it. I really like the color. I really like the pattern. I think this is what's really throwing me off, which concerns me a little because a lot of the dresses I got are a lot like this. So, um, you know, hopefully in the end, it'll be OK. So this one I'm like 50 50 on. I don't know how I feel about it. If I want to keep it, if I want to get rid of it, we'll kind of see. So the next one that I got is the Losing Sleep mini dress in navy polka dot. I got this one also in a size small and this one was $56.95. Okay, so the this is this one. Just another little dress. So this one looks like it's gonna be similar in the chest area. Um, but what I liked about this one is that it had like a little tie in the back for these straps to come together so they weren't like falling off and this and that. It also looks a lot shorter than the other one, which is a little concerning. Um, and there's no liner in this one either. Now the fabric is a little thicker, but it's still like, I can still see through it. So I don't know how this is gonna be. We're, again, we're just gonna have to try it on and see how it goes. So hold on a second. Okay, so this is what this lo dress looks like. Again, it's not as short as I thought it would be, which is really nice. Um, one thing to note about this dress in particular, I wish I'd had somebody here to help me tie this up because it was really difficult, like getting at that angle. Um, these straps are not adjustable. Having said that, like, I, I don't know if it fits quite properly. I don't know how secure I feel in here without a bra on. I just noticed that it's like, pretty like not quite totally open here but kind of open there which is a little concerning to me 
Um, it's not too, too bad, but like I do worry that it'll slip and slide a little bit. And because of how open it is here, I couldn't wear a bra with it. Having said that, it's not quite as bad in the front, but I just feel like I'm not filling it out quite the way I want to. And because I can't adjust the straps, um, it's like I would prefer it to sit up a little closer or a little higher. You can tell that where like the seam is, is not really where it's sitting supposed to be. Um, I do really like it. I think it's really cute. I just think that it might not fit me quite correctly. So maybe with this one, I should have considered getting an extra small. I'm not too sure. Um, pretty much after I do all this with you guys, I'm going to have to show Tom later anyway. And I'm going to get, he's really, really good at like judging for size and stuff like that. Like really, really good. Like I bought, I'll just go on a tangent for a moment. I bought this pair of like faux leather shorts that I am absolutely obsessed with. And I brought them home and he looked at them and was like, mm, they don't look right. Like they look like they're too big. And I was like, what are you talking about? That's the way they're supposed to fit. He just said, just in your leg. Like he's like, they're just so big around your leg. It just looks weird. Did they not have a smaller size? And I said, well, they did, but I didn't think it would fit me. And I ended up going back and buying the smaller size and it fit me better than the one I originally bought because he kind of knew what he was talking about more than I did. So his opinion is the one I will be getting later about all of these things and whether I should keep them or not. So let's get into the next dress. Now this is where I'm gonna sort of lose track of what's what. Actually, it's not bad because they were all stacked in the order that they were meant to be. So this one is the Bet On Me mini dress in khaki. Again, I got a small and this one was $75.95. So this material right off the bat is quite a bit thicker. It's almost more of like a canvasy style material, but it's got a really, really nice soft lining. So that's not going to rub up or anything. It's a nice heavy weighted dress. Um, I feel really good about this one. Again, it looks short, but I mean, I've said that about all of them and they've been fine. This one again has zippers, has adjustable straps. I was really intrigued with the neckline of this one. It's kind of like that interesting square shape. And once again, there's like a little tie in the front to kind of like cinch your waist. So hopefully this one works. Okay. So this dress, I absolutely love. Now this is the shortest one I've had on so far. Uh, I'm sure you guys can see that. But I think that because it's a little bit sturdier and more structured, I'm not as concerned about it. Like this part where there's like the little like frill at the bottom, I would worry a bit about. But other than that, like I feel like it's going to be OK. Um, I'm in love with this neckline. I just think it does really good thing uh, things for, you know, my shape and stuff like that. And I also think that the way that the darting happens to be like if you guys can see. It's just all the way down today that I think that that is making it um, like more form fitted, more structured. I could probably do without this thing. Like if the dress was just like, you know, kind of like that, it, it adds a little something for sure. But I, I don't know. Initially, I thought it was going to be a little too big. It felt like it was really, really big back here. And then I just tightened the straps and it was all good. So this one is definitely a winner. This is the favorite one of the one I've tried on so far. And the funny thing about this dress, I actually like, ooh, you know what though? When you sit, eh, I'm going to have to be careful with that because when I sit down, I lose all of the dress. Um, but that's okay. Just keep, wear shorts under it maybe or, you know, whatever. When I'm in the Dominican, I'm going to be a lot less worried about it because I'm going to be in bathing suits and stuff like that. So it's not going to be as concerning. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on that. Um, this dress I almost didn't buy. I was watching Lauren Curtis and she got it in like the pinky sort of color and was like ranting and raving about it. And so I thought, okay, I'll try it. Like it wasn't on my original list to try, but I'm so glad that I did. So the next dress that I've got is the work of art midi dress and it's in teal. So this one is a longer dress. Now I got this one in an extra small because they said that it fits kind of big, but I don't know if that's true. It's got a lot of stretch in it though, so I might be okay. It's kind of got that same sort of crossover thing. There's like a small slit and I was actually worried because I showed my mom this dress and we were worried the slit would be too high. Like I just thought it wrapped over, but it's nice to see that it's sewn under as well. It's got a zipper. It's strapless. I picked this one up kind of more to wear for like, we have two weddings we have to go to in May. And I thought that this might look really, really nice for that. So let's hope that it does. I'm going to go try it on. Uh, I didn't tell you this was also $75.95. Okay. So I don't know what that girl was thinking. Um, I did not need an extra small on this. This is 
like super tight, like super form fitting way, way, way too tight to be comfortable. And I can also tell that based on the fact that it's rolling here, like it shouldn't be doing that. Um, and also with how difficult it was to get the zipper up and like, I've got all, I, mm -mm. it's so tight, you guys, like it's longer. So like, I, I don't know if you can see the slit. I like where the slit is. It's not too high, but considering I was thinking about wearing this to a wedding, like holy tight, I would not no, I just, you know, everybody likes different things. For me, it's just not what I was looking for. I think I thought it would be a little more like, like I wanted it to hug curve, but like this is hugging every little bit of my body and I'm just not a fan of that. Um, like the, it's comfortable, it's fine, but I could have gotten away with a small and honestly, I think I thought that it hung a little bit more than it did cling. So this is an... <laughs> probably a definite one that's going to have to go back because I, I just don't feel comfortable in it. Um, like I would feel like everybody's staring at me. I just, I don't think I can handle that. Alrighty, on to the next one. So the next one is the Allura mini dress and I got it in blue steel. And this one I also got in a small again. Small was definitely the way to go for me, I think. I mean, I, I don't know for sure. So this is this one. It's a little bit different. It's kind of, I don't know how to like describe the fabric. It's almost like a, like crinoline kind of fabric, but not quite. It does have some lining in it. So that's good. It's got this like little peep cut out underneath your boobs, um, with a little bow. And I'm obsessed with this color. Uh, and again, kind of like that Navy blue one, the V isn't too, too deep. So I'm hoping it's not super revealing. Um, so I'm going to go get out of this because my circulation is being cut off and put this one on and hopefully it works out a little bit better. Alrighty. So this is that one. Uh, please excuse the hanger straps. I just don't have the patience to put it in. So there's a lot of things I really like about this and a couple things that I'm like meh about. Again, it is on the shorter side, kind of like the khaki dress. I have a feeling when I sit down, I'm going to have that same problem. Um, but the fabric is really comfy. It's really lightweight, really, really flowy. I'm super into this little detail here. I just think it's like just the perfect amount of like sexy as long as I'm not like spilling out of it, but whatever. Um, one thing I'm hesitant of is I feel like it's a little bit baggy in here. Um, having said that, I didn't screw around with the strap, so I don't know if that would really make a difference. The other thing that I really like is I feel like you could like do your own cleavage control based off of this thing. So this is how it kind of sits right? It sits like this and you just sort of tie it how tight you want it. So if you wanted it a little tighter, a little bit more cleavage, you probably could if you really wanted to. In theory, you could tie it behind you um, or you could just, you know, tie it like a normal human being and leave it like that. Depends on what you're going for. Uh, I like that this has some cleavage, but not like so much cleavage that I'm saying hello there. Um, I really like this one. It is a little tight right in here, but I think you would want it that way. I feel like if it was loose, you'd be having some problems. And I mean, you still want some structure here because it is still holding up your boobs. And like I said, I don't have a bra on. So yeah, I think I kind of like this one. I really, really like the color as well. Love the color. Yeah, it is super short as well. I can see that it just slid up. Uh, that is a little disconcerting. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The next one. I also don't know if I told you how much this was. It was $80 and 70 cents. I might've said 75, 95. I don't even know anymore. 80, 70, the one I have on. The next one, and this is the one I'm kind of like the most excited for, is called the Free Spirit Dress in the color Sunrise. It's this like really cool mustard yellow. I've been loving this like dark, dark mustardy kind of yellow lately. I don't know what it is. Part of me wonders if it's like going to be the color this year because I was walking by a bunch of stores and it seemed to be like in all of the windows. So this dress has like buttons all the way up the front and then the back is completely backless and you sort of just tie these straps around the back. And then the top ones you can either tie to have it like a halter dress or I saw the girl on the website tied it around her back as well to have a completely strapless dress. Um, this is again like that heavier, heavier khaki material which worked really, really well for me last time. So fingers crossed it works really well for me this time. This is in a small, this one is $75.95, two seconds. I'm going to go try this on. I'm super excited. All right, you guys, this is another dress I've got mixed feelings about. Um, the length is really, really good. I love the color. Um, you know, I like the back. I like the way it sits. I find that it's a little loose right here. I don't know if that's because I have it up too high, to be completely honest. And that's the other thing that's like, 
a little bit frustrating about this dress is it's definitely a two person dress to put on. Um, I really struggled getting the ties done up, which is why I did leave it up high. Um, I liked the idea of wearing it without this better, but it was just not feasible when I'm by myself to get it to go like that. Um, you know, it doesn't leave a lot to the imagination. That's for sure. It's very, very open here. I am covered. So that's good. Um, I would also, you know, my fear is that like this, if it slides kind of opens up a little bit here, if you know what I mean. So like you need this to sit up higher over your shoulder blades, which I feel like it's going to slip a lot during the night unless you tie it so tightly that it's going to almost cut off your circulation. I'm torn over this. I do really like it. I think it's really pretty. It's super flattering. It's just, is it worth the hassle that I sense that I'm going to feel trying to get it on and off? Um, I'm going to need Tom's help and that just seems like more hassle than it's worth. I don't know. Um, let me, by the way, let me know what you guys think of all this stuff. If I'm saying like, oh, I hate this dress and you guys are like, what are you talking about? It looks great. Or if I'm like, oh, I love this dress and you guys are like, mm, you know what? I don't really, well, be nice though. Um, so I have two play suits now. So I don't know which one's which <laughs> because they're in the same fabric. So I assume that this one is the... Let's just go and, and hope that this is the golden hour play suit. So this is beige speckles. So they're both going to be the same fabric and it was $90 and 21 cents or not 21, 20 cents. I'm pretty sure that this was the longer sleeved one because I got two that are in the same fabric and are very, very similar, but one had long sleeves and one was a tank top. Um, and I'm super excited about these as well. Although Again, having seen how these work, um, I think that they're going to be way too low cut for me. So this is the first one. It kind of just looks, I love the bottom of these. I just think it's so freaking cute. And again, it's got that little sash here that you can cinch the waist and stuff. But again, I'm super worried for the cleavage of this. Um, it's got elastics at the bottom of the sleeve. So they're going to billow out and then come in. I'm not even going to talk about this much more. This is a small, let's just get straight into it and see how it is and see if I can handle it. Okay, so uh, not loving this. The first thing I did notice um, is that the short section, I don't know if there's like some elastic in it, but like immediately I could tell like the difference between wearing shorts and a dress, which is not a bad thing, but like I own one other like cutesy little whatever place you romp or whatever you want to call it, much like this one. And it certainly doesn't do that. So there's that. Um, it's really, really tight in here. And like, that's not because I have this done up tight. I don't, it's very, very tight where the elastic is. And as I was pulling it up, like there's no range of movement. It's so tight right here. And like pulling it up, I just give myself a major, major wedgie, like pull this thing all the way up. So like, I can't imagine that the range of movement in it is very good. And also you'll notice that like, I won't let it go. It is so, so low cut you guys. Um, and you know, bra would probably be worse because it would push my boobs up more, but like it's, it's ridiculously low cut, like, and also it's see-through in the back if you guys can see that. So like that wouldn't work. Oh God, for wearing a bra either. Sorry, I just had to look in the mirror. Um, this ain't going to fly with me. I, I cannot, I can't even like, oh God, like I'm sitting here right now and I just, you know, it's not even that it's super low cut. It's just that it's so loose up in here and so tight everywhere else. It's super weird. Like it's really tight around my waist, but then like up in this area, it's so loose that like one wrong move and I would definitely come tumbling out of this, which leaves me very little hope for this one, um, which is the walk me home play suit. So this one I also got in a small, this one was 85.45. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't have much hope for this one, but um, <laughs> literally it's like the exact same, except it crisscrosses in the back. Um, I, I'll try it on just for the sake of trying it on because maybe it'll surprise me. Maybe because the straps are adjustable, I can make it work. Um, it's that same little flounciness at the bottom. I don't know, guys. This one I have on is making me feel super uncomfortable, like more so than the teal dress. So uh yeah, I'm going to get in that one. We're going to talk about it a little and then we're going to kind of like have like a mini review of everything that I've done here today. And uh, I will let you guys know my overall thoughts on this. So give me two seconds.
Alrighty, so this is the last one, and you guys can see I'm not like mad covering myself. This one does a tiny bit better of a job. Um, I'm really torn about this one because it's it's not as like constricting because there's no sleeves, um, at least in like this area where the shorts are, it's not riding up quite as much. I do feel like I'm really well lined. You guys can see this lining and then all these ruffles. Like I feel pretty good about that. I like that it looks like a little dress. I really like the back. Like I like that it shows a lot of back. What I will say is to get it so that I had less cleavage showing, um, I had to do the straps up almost as tight as they would go that I could get them on my arm and it is digging in quite a bit right here. So I almost don't know if that's worth it to be honest. It seems less annoying here as well. And I think the main reason the other one bothered me was because it was so tight here and so loose here. Like I got that one, like the zipper I got maybe like two inches. I'm gonna sit now. Uh, I got maybe two inches undone and I was able to just like take it off my shoulders. Um, so yeah, that's everything. So overall, by the time I got my discount applied, I spent 552, no, sorry, that's Australian dollars. I spent $524.53 Canadian for the eight dresses, which is not ab absurd. Like it's not ridiculously absurd. Um, my thoughts. So I am absolutely, absolutely in love with that green khaki dress. I really liked the steel blue um, dress that had like the little peep here. The first two dresses I'm torn on. I don't know how I feel about them. I think I would really like them if they were a different size. The teal dress is another one that I'm like meh on. I just can't decide. The yellow dress, super torn on um, because of the way it is in the back and stuff like that. The other play suit is 100% no go. And this one I'm kind of torn on as well. So this overall I am really happy I bought from this company. I would buy from them again. Um, I will fill you in on that when I try and return orders and see how easy it is and see if they get there in time to get a refund or an, or, or whatever, an exchange, whatever it may be. Um, I'll let you guys know how that goes in like a, a prelude to this. Like if I order from there again, I'll talk about it. But as of right now, really happy with their customer service, super happy with how quickly it got to me because I was worried that if I didn't like some of it, I wouldn't have time to send it back, but I still have like 25 days to get it back there. And if it got here in four days, then why can't I get it back there in that many days? If you guys know what I mean? Um, something I'm super grateful for and I didn't realize I would be is my ability of like, <laughs> I don't know if I talked to you guys about this. I have like tendonitis in my rotator cuffs and they kind of move like my shoulders move in different ways. So like I have that ability that I can do that and stuff like that really happy for that ability today because it allowed me to get zippers and it allowed me to tie these dresses up which I which normally I don't know that I would have been able to do without assistance so yeah that is going to be it for today if you guys like this video uh, and you want to see me do more hauls or there's like you know other dress stores like this that like you're you're skeptical about and maybe want me to try be nice um or you think that I would really like or a little maybe I'm just a prude because I don't like my boobs hanging out um I don't know maybe let me know if you think so that's fine I've never known to be that before but hey you hear new things every day so if you guys like these kind of videos and want to see more let me know down below give this video a thumbs up check out my Instagram subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time bye